recording today's video while watching the video that premieres today. So, is it day 20 or is it day 23 or 24? What is today? What day is it? I don't really know. Officially, it is the Texas CUSO Party Day. The first day of the Texas CUSO Party. That's the day it is right now. And we're out here at Lake Ray Roberts State Park. This is a place that I've come before many times and set up a Ham Radio 2.0 gathering for a day. We'll come out here and do POTA. We'll set up a hex beam. We'll hang out for the day and activate the park and let new people sit down. We've talked to several people during those events who are either not licensed or they're technician, and we let them sit down in front of a radio, do some HF, do some parks on the air, and guess what? They go home and start studying. So that is the point of the whole thing. But there was a group of people that I know coming out here today doing the Texas CUSO party, and I definitely wanted to include this for the 30 days of ham radio, so let's take a look. I just sent a CQ message saying, Happy Texas CUSO party. I'm guessing that's not going to be the last time I do that today. <laughs> with all the fun I've been having with VHF, with the contest station, with the 2-meter side bend net, some simplex, one of the, the 6.52 simplex video is one of the most popular videos in this 30 days of ham radio series. I decided to bring my 2 meter for 40 Yagi out here. There's two or three people out here with HF stations, and I've got my HF stuff in the truck. I could set it up if I wanted to. But I decided to bring the 2 meter for 40 Yagi out here and see if I could actually make some 2 meter sideband contacts from the park. Right now, this is setting up maybe, I don't know, maybe about 30 feet right there. That, that, uh, that mast will go up higher than that. There's two sections at the top that I did not put up. So it probably go up another, and there's one section at the bottom. Yeah, it's probably maybe 30 to 35 feet somewhere in there. It's a 50 foot mast. So, so far, no luck on two meter sideband. I'm gonna keep trying. I spotted myself on the POTA page. Of course, this, there's a high cue on this uh, Yagi antenna, and it's basically pointed south right now. We're at Lake Ray Roberts State Park, which is a little bit northeast of Denton. And if you look on the map, we're almost exactly due north of where, of mid cities in between Dallas and Fort Worth. So I figured if I point south, I got a semi good chance trying to work somebody. I sent an email to a couple people I know and I'm like, hey, get on two meter sideband 144.200 and see if you can work me out here. So we're gonna try that. But in addition to that, Elle Marie from She's on Frequency is here. She set up her alpha antenna. So check this out, Steve, Steve from Alpha Antennas. She's got her hex antenna set up here and she's working 10 meters because she's a technician. She's taking her general test tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to talk to her in just a second. Paul, K5VOP from the Prep Him Paul channel, he set up this chameleon. This is that antenna that Bill from Hem Radio Tectonics had on his RV at, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is the same antenna he had. But this is just a massive antenna, and he says it works pretty well. He's like, it, it doesn't work as uh, invis as well as he wanted it to, but it does work. And uh, he's been happy with that. He's trying some 15 meters right now on that antenna. And then over there, Michael, K5, KD5, K, KF5 LDJ, KF5 LDJ, I believe. He's doing 20 meters, and he's on this Wolf River Coils over here, which we're going to walk over here and look at this. Show you all the antennas first. He's on the Wolf River Coil here, and he's using that on 20 meters right now. And uh, he's probably made more contacts than anybody just because it's 20 meters. There's more people on 20 meters. There are five state CUSO parties happening today. Plus, we're in a park. We've heard some guys just calling CQ Poda from wherever they are. So we've we've heard more we've heard more Poda stations on the air today. And if it's officially a Saturday, so there's a lot of POTA stations out on Saturdays typically. But with five CUSO parties, there's a lot of people on the band today. And uh, L, she's made some contacts on 10 meters, which is good. I don't know how Paul's doing on 15 meters, but we're going to check this out real quick. You make any contacts? No, I'm, I've gotten like bits and pieces of call signs, but... Uh, Delta Papa, probably... that's, that's a Germany, I think. I'm um, still learning on how to capture. <laughs> that's okay. Call signs. That's good. I think it's Delta. Oh yeah. It's either this or this. So. GN or GPN. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of okay. Those. All right. <laughs> that's a cool. Uh, it's a cool radio setup you got there. It's not mine, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the club members. He's probably. I would say he's like my official armor right now. But yeah. this is his radio setup. It's his Go Kid or his Go Box, however you want to say it. There's an 891 in here, and then FC. 
fifty tuner, yeah. the antenna tuner for the eight ninety one. It's got cat control. Um, you can use it for Y cat as well. All of that is like embedded in here. He told me do not take it out because it's just going to be like a spaghetti of wires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yep. love in my face. Yep, yep. But, um, oh wait, he's in Canada. It's great. Who's in Canada? This guy. He, he's he's Texas call, but he's in, he just has stroke Victor Echo six. Oh, he's oh he's he's traveling then. Yeah. He's traveling in Canada right now. Okay. So. <laughs> cool. It's, it's great to meet you in person. Yeah, you too. Here. Here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Here, tell tell everyone about your channel real quick. Oh, okay. Um, I got my license in July. My channel is called She's on Frequency. I'm kind of coming into the space as a young female new operator who's just trying to learn and explore. I have a background in computer engineering, so ham radio and technology just kind of like when I first heard about it, just kind of fit into what I was interested in um, with my uh, college degree and my background. And so once I started exploring, really just found the magic in it and that I can just contact people all around the world without relying on my phone. And my first QSOs were absolutely amazing. Amazing. And I'm trying to get my first QSOs here on 10 meters. I think I did get my first successful one now, but um, again, 10 meters right now is just, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. And so yeah. I am going to study for my general. Well, I'm taking my we'll test, tomorrow. test tomorrow. Right. Yes. Yeah. So awesome. wish me luck and eventually I'll get that extra. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Jason. Yeah. Thank you. Good to meet you. All right. How are you doing, Michael? I'm doing my Are you making contacts? I am making contacts. Okay. So he's got one of my he's got one of my absolute favorite radios of all time here, IC seven thousand. I've got two of those at home. You got on uh, you, you got Russia on the Chameleon antenna. Fifteen meters. Fifteen meters. Oh sweet. So yeah, that's a great invis antenna. Hi hi. <laughs> yeah, but that uh, what's your channel? You got a channel too, don't you? Yes, sir. Uh, getting out in life. Getting out in life. Okay, tell everyone about your channel. Started in COVID uh, because I was just tired of being cooped up in the house and uh, uh, just trying to get out someplace every weekend to do something. Uh, now I'm doing a lot of ham radio with that. So, uh, but I mean, it's not just ham radio. It's uh, uh, attending events and everything that's happening around one or two hours from where I live in the colony. So I went to the Moore Expo two years ago, and that's the, well, we've been for the last four years, but year before last, my brother came with us and we kind of carpooled down there and we get there we meet up with all of my friends and he's sitting around talking to a couple people and he comes up to me and he's like is everyone you hang out with a youtuber and i was like actually yes <laughs> that's what that's what we are that's 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 what we do so yeah we're ham radio guys but uh but yeah yeah we all hang out with youtubers but i mean there's a lot of guys that hang out with us at the at the ham fest that would not that are not youtubers but that was a funny question i always remember that and since then my brother started his own channel too he spent a weekend at a overland show with a bunch of youtubers and then started a channel of his own so that uh that's fun too here's paul's setup here oh you're out in maryland never mind you're a three what am i thinking uh, you're in, uh, I'm in Denton County here if you're doing the Texas QSO party, Denton, D-E-N-T. All right, we've also got a park as well, 3051. Mm -hmm. That's great, yeah, I'm trying to do a POTA and the Texas QSO party, so uh, great signal here into Texas. Yeah, this uh, can't, I've covered up my call sign, but um, uh -huh. thanks to uh, Quirky QRP for this monster Did he mat. Make that yeah, he made this, okay. so oh, right. you, can go to, you can go on and get your own logo or whatever you want. Uh -huh. He'll put it on there for you. Okay. So I got the logo put on and then... What's it called? Mammoth, I think, right? Or monster? Mammoth? I don't know. I, I don't know what. I, I, I just said monster because it's huge. Yeah, monster actually, or mammoth mat. He actually sent me one like this. Yeah. And I haven't taken it. I keep forgetting to grab it. It's sitting in the shack right now. So I've never even opened well, it up. Maybe it has my cold. It rolls up into like a yoga size yes. mat thing. Yeah, it looks like a yoga mat. That's correct. And there's room for more. See? So yeah. you could get in the shade if you want to come over here and get yeah. on the mat. But yeah, this is fun, man. I'm glad yeah. you came out. I Do wanted something. to get the Texas Cuso party on a video. Yeah. That's basically what I wanted to the 30 cool. days of radio. That's right. Is that what it's called? 30 days of ham radio. Ham radio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got 10 more days. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Very cool. So you just made contact with Russia. Yeah, so I just contacted Vlad. Let's see, right here. Uh, RZ10A. Uh, Vlad on 15 meters. Crazy on that tactical delta yeah. loop. Yeah. On yeah. my NVIS yeah. antenna. Yeah. yeah. Delta loop. That's what, it, that's what it was called. I couldn't remember what yeah. the antenna was called. And then someone said it's not a true delta loop because all three are supposed to be the same, I guess, and they're not. Oh, 
So I don't know. It, it works. works. It works. I don't care. I got Russia. That's all that matters. <laughs> Texas to Russia, it works. Yeah. So we're at Ray Roberts. I love it. This is one I've come. I come to most often. It's Good. the closest. So. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. All right, guys. Seventy-three. Yep. Yeah. So now we're gonna try to do some. I'm gonna sit down and try to call some CQ on two-meter sideband again because I did make some FM contacts, even though this sucker is hung horizontally. I did some uh, 6.52 contacts on it. It's pointed south right now. Pointed it north. Talked to a guy that was driving up around Pilot Point, Texas. Awesome. The wind's picking up now. I hope I may have to lower it here in a minute. But it did work. It, you get you lose a little di bit of dB gain when you talk uh, horizontal to vertical because that guy was on a vertical intent on his truck. But um, it worked. Oh gosh. <laughs> No, that was uh, D uh, Dick from down there where I live. Uh, D WA6 MDI, uh, you're loud, man. 5-9. Uh, uh, Roger that. You're 5-9 also. Uh, Echo Mike 13, Julian Alpha. You're sounding good. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I, I'm pointed what I think is west, unless my compass on my phone is messed up, which I'm surprised I'm getting 5-9 down there to you. Oh, no. You're doing great. Uh, I'm running a little 705 and the uh, little uh, garage amplifier that you saw yesterday on top of speaker. Roger, Roger, Roger. Okay. Well, I am running the uh, FTX1 uh, outputting 50 watts, no amplifier. And uh, you're the first contact I made on 2-meter sideband today. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I, bet I put a note on uh, the, uh, the MTMS site. And there's a bunch of guys out running around. They're playing around at 10 gigahertz. And some are going to be on 2, 2432 and 1296. You don't have 432 if you do. Uh, actually, yes, I do. Yeah, I do have 432. I tried 432.100 earlier and didn't get anything there either. Okay, um, let me crank up my 7900 over here, and I'll get over to 432-100, and we can duplex uh, between here and there. Let me see if I can make it up here. Why don't you antenna south? Okay, roger, roger. Give me a second. Okay, I think, uh, I think that's a little bit better there. KC5HWB. Oh, man, yeah, you're sounding good. You're 5 and 9 on 432-100. How about me? Over. Yeah, you're about a 5.5 five to 5.6 five here at 432-100 uh, as well. Um, I'm, I'm only up about probably about 20 feet right now, though. Okay, well, this is the uh, dual band antenna that, you, that we saw on the video the other day. Yeah, roger, roger. Same antenna. It's good to know it's working. I wanted to bring it into the field to see if it worked at all, and I'm glad, glad to know it is. So thanks for being out there. CQ, 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 CQ from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Roger, Roger, Roger. I do copy you. I do copy you. Uh, KC uh, W5ITR from KC5HWB. Whiskey Five, uh, Whiskey Five, I Italy Tango Romeo. W5ITR from KC5HWB. Do you copy? Roger, Roger, Roger. I hear you. I hear you. Let me know if you hear me. Uh, KC5HWB. We did the Texas Cuso party, pretty much. <laughs> but it's it's one of those things where it's like you know. There were people calling. I think we worked, uh, I don't know, two or three stations QSO party, but there were a lot more people doing POTA than the QSO party. So we uh, worked that, worked POTA a little bit more than the QSO party. But I have a QSO party log. I will be submitting it. The purpose of a QSO party, I meant to say this up front. So the purpose of a QSO party in most states, in most states, is to contact as many counties in that state as you can. So if you're working the Texas QSO party, you're trying to contact as many counties in Texas as you can. If you're in Texas, you give them your county. We were in uh, Denton County this today, this time. So we would, if someone else was in another county, we'd log that. And if a person in it is in another state working the Texas QSO party, they would just log all the different counties they, they contacted. Texas has about 255 counties. So it's... Uh, larger than most but that's the purpose of it. it can be fun it can be fun there were five there were four other states five states total including texas that were doing qso parties today so there's a lot of people on the air today but this is ray roberts lake state park which is uh us 3051 on the poda website and we've come up here two or three times i did a ham radio 2.0 kind of like a sponsored POTA event. Say, so come up here, hang out, sit down, get on the air. 
I'm gonna set up the hex beam, the buddy hex hex beam. And we've done that up here two or three times. It's probably been about a year since we did that. And that was really fun. People enjoyed that. I think that last time we had like 30, 35 people here or something like that. It was pretty cool. And we'd stay here until one, two o'clock in the afternoon until it gets hot, then we'd tear down and go home. So it was just kind of like a half day event. Might be fun to try to do it at some point when it's a little bit cooler outside. But this is a neat park. I really like it up here. It's about an hour drive from the house. Not bad at all. Probably do something else up here. But I had mentioned in my uh, the Route 66 video, I think it was, we were up at LBJ Grasslands for that video and one other video I did. And I was showing you guys the plateau. And I had mentioned about wanting to do a Ham Radio 2.0 gathering. Bring your rig up. If you've got a tent, if you've got an overland vehicle, if you've got a or even like a small RV, and a lot of you commented on that and said, yeah, you you would be interested in that. So I'm going to look at trying to do something like that when the weather is cooler. October would be a good time. There's a couple things going on next month in October, so I'm not sure I'll do it then. Uh, November is hunting season in Texas, and that's usually what I'm doing in November. So there's another overland event going on second weekend of November, and I got invited out to that to do a presentation about radios so that's i'm looking forward to that i accepted that i told him i said yeah i'll come out and do that so we're going to be doing that uh second weekend in october uh, yeah second week in uh, november i'm sorry second week in november if you are if you know where bridgeport texas is this that, that's an event that's going to be in bridgeport texas i'll be posting about it between now and then but we're going to do a ham radio 2.0 gathering at some point maybe i don't know maybe march or april of next year Got to plan it out, make sure the weather's good. I don't want it to be too cold, but I also don't want it to be too hot. So we got a small window of nice weather in Texas. And uh, and I wouldn't mind doing one in another place either. Three or four two-meter sideband contacts today and one 440 sideband, a 432 sideband contact. That was fun. I didn't know what to expect with this VHF. This VHF, UHF thing, I'm starting to get into it a little bit more. Talking to the guys out at the contest station doing some two meter sideband from the house uh, going out to um, a WA6 MDI Dick's place in um, not too far down the road from me and watching and looking at his microwave setup very cool stuff so gonna be doing some more I think I'm gonna be doing some more stuff with that in the future so let me know what you guys think in the comments below I gotta check my email and see what kind of donations we got today so let's uh, let's look at some donations real quick all right, donations for, as of last night, we were at $4,830 with $170 raised from yesterday. Two additional donors. Notes in the donations were in memory of Carson Gardner, N0JIB, and also in memory of Benjamin Joshua Zigun, or Zygun, MD and MBA. No call sign given. So thank you for those donations. Keep them coming. Go to adrl.org forward slash 30 days. We are supporting the Teachers Institute, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.